Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and we are going to swatch Pilot Inks today, specifically from their Iroshizuku line. Now, their Iroshizuku line has about 24 plus inks, and this particular collection started in 2007. Now, Iro means color and Shizuku means small droplets. So what they are trying to suggest, I suppose, is that these are small droplets of color that um, sort of match up with the Japanese landscape. So we're gonna do four today, and we're gonna start with something that I've already inked one of my pens with, the Pilot Decimo, and this is their Kujaku. Now, Kujaku means peacock, and you'll see in a while why this color is so aptly named Kujaku. All right, let's go ahead and dip our Kakimori brass nib in. Okay, and let's go ahead and swatch. Look at that blue. I'm gonna scoot you in a bit closer so you can see it with me. Isn't it the prettiest? I feel like it is one of the prettiest blues I've ever seen. All right, now I want to write here that it is, um, and it's such a wet ink. This is something that I have read a lot about how wonderfully wet this line is. And I suppose they're very good to have if you um, have a few drier nibs. All right, let's go ahead and write that in. And let's just swatch that pretty blue for you. Isn't it so pretty? Okay, so thin, roughly that color, and then just a little bit thicker, roughly that color. Okay, it's, it simply what's it, slides on the paper. And this paper is not even one of the um, Tomoe River. This is just a regular uh, paper from your traveler's notebook. It's the one that comes free with it. I've decided to use it as a swatch, uh, ink swatch book early in my journey and it has functioned as such. Now, I have inked one of my pens with this ink and so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm clean, cleaning my nib right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and write with it so that you can see just how well it writes. So I have used it on my Pilot Decimo. All right, so let's go ahead and write with it. Look at it. Oh, such a consistent color as well. I see no shading. This is in fine. Okay, so I see no shading. It's very consistent. So it feels like, oops, a really good writer. Sorry, llama. Or is that a llama or a paka? Okay, so Kujaku is such a pretty one. This again means peacock. I'm just checking to make sure my bottle is nice and sealed. Okay, so the next one that we are going to look into is called Chukushi. I think this is gonna be a brown ink and this if you translate shukushi apparently it means horsetail okay so of course we're looking at a well i suspect a brown ink and i do like brown inks i have quite a number of them on purpose it's not like samples or anything that i just got Ooh, it is it feels a little thin to write with it's like it's so flowy but I don't know it this one also kind of felt like that okay so let's go ahead and write what it is okay so I don't forget and this is the Tsukushi okay and this Let's go ahead and write. It feels so nice to write with it. It's so smooth, almost like butter. Okay, and this isn't even like fancy paper. So, oh, is this kind of brown? 
if it's thin enough. It's the kind of brown that kind of leans towards red. Now this one has a little bit of shading going on for it. Okay, it's not as consistent as say the Kuchaku. Although I suppose if you write with a fine nib, it's going to be more consistent than if you write with a broader nib. But as you can see right here already, there's a little bit of shading that's happening. And this part where it pulled is way darker. Unlike the Kujaku, although there was also some pulling, you'll see that it is fairly consistent. Here though, you already see some of the shading that's happening. All right, let's go ahead and rinse the nib so that we can move on to the next ink. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so the next one is going to be a blue. If I'm not mistaken, yes, this is called the Chuyu Kusa. And this is supposed to mean uh, Asiatic or Asiatic day flower. All right, so let's see what kind of blue this will bring us. Can't skip that a bit. So far though, the inks feel quite wet and pleasant to write. Oh wow. This, okay, cat here alert. Feels very nice to write with. And it looks like your regular blue. Okay, I don't see, well right now, I don't see anything fancy except for its super smooth writing oops and it feels really 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 good to write with um i've had a few inks that felt a bit dry and this is not one of those okay oops so let's go ahead and write exactly which one this is okay and when I got this, and let's use cursive, Asiatic, day, flower. On the nib, it feels fantastic. I usually struggle a little bit whenever I use the brass nib to write with, but with the Hiroshizuku ink, I don't feel it at all. It's just wonderful okay, let's just draw a little bit okay all right so far my experience with this line of ink is has been quite good it's very pleasant to write with i use it a lot with my pilot decimo and filled with the kujaku and it's really really very pleasant to write with it. Okay, let's go for our last ink in our pilot set today. And it's a, I don't know, I think it's a bit of a red sort of color. This is the Fuyugaki. And Fuyugaki means, or translates to, winter persimmon. Okay, so let's go ahead and dip our nib. And let's see how this looks on paper. Let's scoop you up. Okay, oops. Make sure you can still see it clearly. All right. Ooh, it's a nice orange. Oh yeah, I remember. I kind of wanted to get an orange. Again, very flowy ink. Okay, and let's go ahead and write what it is. Oh, so nice on the nib. Okay, and this is the okay. Who you okay, Gaki. It just slides on the paper. Super nice. Okay, let's write it. Let's see how it is. Nice and bold. And let's see how it works with lines. Wow. Okay, it is a very strong color. 
it sort of mimic bold writing and fine writing. So even with a fine, you can still clearly see it. It has a nice sort of red-orange color going for it. And again, it is quite a consistent color. Okay, so of all the three today, oops, let me clean my nib for a second. Of all the three today, I've noticed that they are all quite um, nice to write with, very smooth, um, especially the Kujaku and the Fuyugaki. The Chukushi and the Chuyukusa also felt quite good. Um, with this one, just feeling a tiny bit, um, I wouldn't say like dry, but it wasn't as smooth as the others, but you know, I, I only compare it that way because I experienced Kujaku already. Um, and this one, Chukushi Horsetail, has a little bit of shading. Okay, not as much now though, now that it's drying, but you can still see a little bit over there. Um, Kujaku and Fuyugaki are the most consistent of the three. Even when I moved the pen around this way, you can see there isn't a lot of like color variation or shade variation. You notice that too with Fuyugaku, although here, when I put in quite a lot of ink, it's a tiny bit darker. I do see just the tiniest bit of shading with Chukushi, you see that there, and also with Chuyukusa. All right, um, but it's not really by much. Of all the four, Chukushi had the most shading, and you can see it right there. Okay, and so I'm oops, a little bit happy with the collection that I got from uh, the Iroshizuku line, the colors that I chose. Uh, perhaps I might want to get the more purple pink one that I saw. I think it's called Yamabudo. But so far, I love these colors. Kojaku is such a winner for me and it matches so well with my emerald green Pilot Decimo. It's actually inked with that, like you saw, and I think it's going to stay inked with that. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for joining me as I went through this collection or this selection from a bigger collection. And I hope that you join me in more ink explorations here at Kikai Crafts. This is Kai from Kikai Crafts. Have a great day or a restful evening. Bye everyone.